New at five, grieving is never easy, but dealing with grief during the coronavirus outbreak has been especially difficult for those who've had to endure it. And as Dr. Maria Simber reports, it's critical to remember that our mental health is just as important right now as our physical well-being. The pandemic has changed the way we grieve. We're no longer able to get to the funeral home, to get to the graveside, to, to be at the bedside of our loved ones. That creates so many layers of reproduction. People miss the hugs, the closeness, the rituals that add meaning. When it comes to death, psychiatrist Dr. Jack Roselle recommends coming together in a year 2020 kind of way. Creating the emotional connections, using the technology that lets us have the phone calls, the messages, the uh, text threads, the video calls with our loved ones, with our support network. Grief has not only been for death, but for experiences and events that were canceled or put on hold. People grieve for lost jobs and alone time, issues he gets calls about. How do I process the loss of work, the loss of that structure in my life, the loss of that sense of certainty, the expectation of what I was going to do next? Social distancing causes grief too, especially for grandparents having to resort to video chats and curbside visits from family, an unfortunate necessity. We have to be especially careful for them that we're not bringing them something. For grief to resolve, it might take a little extra patience during a pandemic. Most folks will get through, maybe with a little bit more time, maybe needing more support from friends or family. It may follow a different path. It may not be resolved as quickly as it would normally, both because our, our grieving processes are disrupted and because this is a crisis that is still ongoing. And while we can't touch, he recommends keeping in touch. Really what we want to think about is physical distancing, but emotional connection. And making self-care a priority. Put your own oxygen on first. Our ability to take care of others begins with our attention to taking care of ourselves. Dr. Rizal says give yourself some compassion and the space you need to be well. I'm Dr. Maria Simbra, KDKA News.